Alrighty. This is a continuation of the 148th scale Apollo lunar spacecraft. So this is the command module. And what I'm doing is taking a little different approach to this. I spent, you know, a fair amount of time detailing the inside of this cockpit, the astronauts, making it look, you know, decent. Um, and then, of course, you realize that all that work is going to be for naught because when you're going to go and put this outer shell on, it's going to pretty much hide everything that you just worked on. You can pop the hatch and you can see the crew, but it's not like seeing it with the top off and, and being able to look really look in there well. So I decided to come up with an idea to illuminate the inside of the cockpit, which I've never done before. So I went online and I found this kit. It's called Evan Designs. Pico is the size of the light. There are four LED cool lights. You can get them in cool or you can get them in warm light. These are cool lights. And it comes with a wiring harness like you see on the back of the picture here, a three volt coin cell battery. Um, and the web address for this is www.lightsforminis.com. Right there. So what you see here directly in front of you is the parachute assembly with the transfer tunnel and the, and the docking ring for the LEM. So I drilled a hole through the top of this in here Put the switch in the back side, glued it in place with testers, and then I took a piece of runner from a previous kit. I glued it in place, trying to just to add extra support to the back of that switch so when you push on it, it doesn't you know, pop out. I don't believe it would pop out anyhow, but I'm just giving myself some extra support because once you glue this whole thing together, you don't want the switch popping out inside the, uh, the CM. So. The wiring harness is uh, connected by, uh, you twist the wires together and you shrink tube it. The shrink tubing works okay, but I had some problems with it. Didn't shrink up very well. So I ended up soldering um, one of these joints and I ended up just rack wrapping some, some uh, beige duct tape around it. Um, that's going to work out just fine. Like here, see right there. And so I'm going to take this, push it down in here like that and mount that in there and secure it in place. The same with this section of shrunk wrap wiring so that when I go to put my wires and mount my wires in place, I'm not gonna have any type of motion or action on those um, solder joints. I don't want anything breaking loose. So that's what I'm gonna do next. But the idea was to figure out a way to service this battery when the time came to replace it and there really wasn't a way to do that effectively i thought about using some neodymium magnets but i didn't know what kind of effect a neodymium which is a very powerful magnet would have on a three volt coin cell i don't know if it would reduce its lifetime or maybe even you know cause a meltdown or a fire on that battery um or in some way affect its performance so i decided um, not to use magnets, not to make it replaceable. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount this either here or on the side here like this. And I'm going to glue the um, parachute assembly to the outer shell. All the wiring will go underneath and into the command module in pre-selected, pre-drilled locations. So I'm gonna give you an idea what these lights look like illuminated so you have some kind of a, a sense of their brightness. And they are pretty bright. It's um, pretty impressive, actually. Here we go. And I'm gonna turn the overhead light off so you get a better idea what that looks like. There you go. And again, these are the, these are the cool whites. Take one of these here and Put it up inside of here. And I got four of them. And of course, using this camera on this phone really doesn't give you the full effect of how well this illuminates the inside of the, the cockpit because you got a lot of glare. I'm going to turn the overhead light back on. 
just a bit here. Take this light out of here. And just by moving it in front here, you can see how bright just that one light is. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these lights in pre-selected locations. Again, there's four of them. So it's going to do a really nice job of illuminating the cockpit. And then when I have that all assembled, I'll show you the final results. But I'm going to really like this. Um, and this is the smallest size of light, the, uh, the Pico. It comes in another size called Chip and then it goes up from there. So I decided to stick with the smallest because I didn't want it super bright, but I wanted it to be bright enough where you could still, you know, see see everything without having a real bright glaring light inside the cockpit. So I think this is gonna work out really well. Again, I'm going to permanently mount the battery inside the command module. Um, it won't be replaceable once it burns out, that's it. We'll let someone else figure out how to replace that that won't happen for a long time the uh the lights i think the lights in the battery one when turned on are rated to burn for like nine nine hours straight and so for demonstration purposes um you'll be able to put this on turn it on turn it off um it will use hardly any battery and the battery theoretically could last a long time so that's good enough for me it, it'll be just a nice little added feature so that's going to be my next um, project, and I shouldn't, it shouldn't take me long to complete that, and then when I'm done, I will uh, let you see the finished product. Alrighty then, thanks for watching.